I'm Jeremy Iverson. I'm an actor, writer, and I'm also a traveler. Hola. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. Zadresfui. Uh, marhaba. I think we just covered like the five major languages of planet Earth. That's what I think we did. 36436 is brought to you by The Late Night Experiment with Motown Maurice. Subscribe today on YouTube. So I'd actually traveled a lot when I was very little, just around the country. I went to see like relatives in South Carolina and Florida. I even spent a very eventful week on a farm when I was six because my mom thought I should spend a week on a farm. And I got to see the majesty and glory of calves being born, uh, which was the most traumatic thing that had ever happened to me when I was six because they used pulleys and chains and they dragged the calves out. And there's lots of blood and sorrow. But, you know, I grew up a lot at six. But my first time out of the country uh, was when I was 11 years old and I was visiting my great uncle and family in San Diego. And we were like, hey, Tijuana is right nearby. So let's go to Tijuana. So I and my relatives got on a little train and went across the border at San Isidro to Tijuana. And it was also a very eye-opening experience for me. I think the tour was very strange. The, the mayor at the time, I think, was really involved with the drug cartels. And so he had like this, his own private zoo with like white tigers in it. And so we got to go see the mayor's white tiger zoo. And it was an experience. And I, I grew up a lot that day too. A lot of growing up happens when you travel. But the good times didn't end with the mayor of Tijuana's White Tiger collection because once a year from that point onward, my family would go to a different foreign location. We went everywhere from Costa Rica to England, France, Spain. Uh, I, it was like a family trips I would do. And what was great is I had lots of, I, I was always given lots of like self-responsibility. So for example, I remember <clears throat> when we were in Costa Rica in this Central American country when I was 15, my mom was like, I'm tired, I'm taking a nap, like go have fun. So I just kind of got to wander around like San Jose by myself, which was kind of kind of kind of tight. So I liked it, you know? Most parents I think now would like, you know, they wouldn't do that, but mine did and I think I was a better person for it. to high school I went to this like boarding school in New England and it was really cold and depressing and so they had this thing they had this like escape valve it was like a loophole in the program which was that you could go on term abroad to Mexico your senior year and I was like yes that is the thing I would like to do so I went on term abroad to Mexico my senior year uh, and that was great there were no white tigers the second time around but what there wasn't was there wasn't like seven feet of snow so it was still a really quality experience all around. And then in college, I was like, man, I want to recapture those glorious days of, of my term abroad in high school. So I did two programs. One is a program that I think every human being should do. And if you're not in college anymore, I think you should try to find a way onto the ship if you have to like get yourself packed in luggage or if you just have to hijack it or whatever works for you. And I don't take legal responsibility for that suggestion. Um, but with Semester at Sea, which is fantastic. It's a giant ship that goes around the world with 640 college students. You go to 10 different countries, you spend a week in each country, and you get college credit for it. So like, kind of perfect, right? And the ratio of girls to guys is two to one. So you, it's, it's just like, it's one of those things like, why does this exist? Like, the world isn't this great, why does this exist? But yet it does exist, and you should be on it. Uh, and then I did that, and then after that I did my college's program. We had a term abroad in Chile but that was not nearly as cool as Semester at Sea, and so I spent most of my time in Chile being sad that I was no longer on Semester at Sea, but was rather in Chile. That's my story, man. So I don't want the travel experience to stop there. I have travel goals. I 
have travel goals. And so I would like to see places I've never seen. I've seen most of Latin America, but I've never seen anything in Eastern Europe. I've never seen Russia. I've never seen those places. I'd also love to see North Korea, because that sounds like, what, North Korea? Even though they seem to have this like nasty habit of arresting Americans and charging them with like things that send them to penal colonies for 20 years, you know, sometimes you have to live a little bit on the edge. And that's a risk I just might take. A different name on this. Say this is like Robert Henderson. Robert Henderson is telling you about his experiences. Fantastic. Or at least if you misspell my name, people won't be able to find it on a Google search. <laughs> as fun as it would be to travel to a place like North Korea, something else that was really, really fun was being on the late night experiment with none other than Motown Maurice, who's just a he's a legend. He's a legend. Um, I thought it was really amazing that I was on his project because our episode had to do with like monks, like kind of quasi Buddhist monks, something kind of Motown made up. He doesn't really know much about Buddhism or monks, so he just kind of had his own thing, which was really awesome because he just put that out there. And so I had actually been in Thailand the, like the year before, and I was like, oh my God, this is so not like monks. But I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this work. And I did, thanks to Motown. Thanks to Motown. <laughs> Hi, my name is Polly. I've been in a temple forever, and I'm ready to be seen! You, viewer, you need to watch The Late Night Experiment with Motown Maurice. Because if you don't, you have a higher than average chance of ending up in a North Korean prison camp. In the landscape of late night, there's Motown Maurice Fighting to claim his hosting destiny he needs your help, please spread the word. Subscribe and you will see. Subscribe and you will see.